हेलो गाइस सभी का स्वागत है दिस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो गाइस इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन द प्लस माइनस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन किट वन मंथ इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन किट फ्रॉम द हैकर रैंक सो दिस टाइम वी आर कमिंग अप विद द मिन मैक्सिमम प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज इन द वन मंथ प्रिपरेशन किट सो लेट्स सी नाउ सो गिवन फाइव पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स फाइंड द मिन एंड मैक्सिमम वैल्यूज दैट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय समिंग अप एग्जैक्टली फोर ऑफ द फाइव एलिमेंट्स इंटीजर्स then print the respective minimum and maximum values as a single line of two space separated long integer so there will be a given a five positive integer array we need to find out the minimum and maximum by summing up the exactly four exactly four digits four integers from the array integer array so basically the integer array contains five elements we need to find out the minimum sum of four integers and maximum sum of uh four integers so for example let's take 1 3 5 7 9 suppose if we see the array is sorted and so so the minimum elements are 1 3 5 7 right so first four minimum elements are uh added and the result is 16 and uh, the maximum elements four maximum element will be 3 5 7 9 here so 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 which is 24 as they mentioned the print the minimum and maximum values with the space separated long integers so we need to take the long so it will be 16 space 4 there will be given a function max minimum min, maximum so we need to write code there so and uh, for example let's take 1 2 3 4 5 okay and it, they mentioned the output can be greater than 32 bit integer which means it will be greater than 32 which is about uh, next 64 bit integer so be aware of integer overflow to overflow to uh, overflow the integer we need to use the long 64 bit integer so for example let's take 1 2 3 4 5 so what is the minimum what is the minimum four elements in the array 1 2 3 4 right so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is about 10 so minimum is printed and uh, let's take maximum elements what are the four maximum elements from the array 2 3 4 5 so these four are the maximum elements by summing up we will get the 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 5 14 so we are getting the 10 and 4 we should print the minimum and maximum values with the space separated which means we need to print by giving space in between them and we need to use the 64 bit integer which means in program i mean in programmable terms we need to use the long and uh, yeah this was the question we will let's go to the solution hi guys i am surya i will walk you through the solution of the min max sum problem here we are given input as array size and array elements here uh, they are mentioned that they will give only five integers so we at first we will take the input for taking input i am taking a for loop i will roll i from 0 to fourth index because our array loop index uh, our array indexes start from 0 and end at 4 before that let's create a array int array is equal to new int array size is 5 so i am declaring there itself and i will also create a scanner object name let's see this text system dot in as a parameter that scan object i am going to take input from input which will be given here with this next in method so with this next in method for each element in array we are going to take input now in question we are given that we have to find minimum sum with four elements and maximum sum with four elements so here the input given is 135 i'll write it in comments array is equal to 
one, three, five, and then seven and nine. Seven and nine. So here uh, we can find some charge uh, like this. We have to find some for four elements. So we can leave each one element and we can add remaining four elements. So we can leave one at first and we can add all these four elements and we can leave three and we can add these four elements, this one and this five, seven, nine. Like that we can add all the digits leaving a number. So at first, uh, first sum will be one plus, I am leaving one here. So the sum will be three plus, five plus, seven plus nine which will be 24 then I will leave 3 after leaving 3 then our sum will be 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 which will be 22 now I will leave 5 so with that our sum will be 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus Nine, which will be 20. Now I will leave 7. So our sum will be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9. Will be 18. Then I will leave 9. And the sum will be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. Which will be 16. So, in this sum, we have to find the minimum and maximum. You can see that minimum is 16 and maximum is 24. That is the answer we have to get. Minimum is 16 and maximum is 24. If you can see that in order to get maximum sum, the numbers we are adding are the maximum in this array. And here also you can see that here we are getting minimum sum because the four numbers we are add, adding are the minimum of this array. That means these numbers are the first four minimum numbers of this array. So in order to get minimum sum, minimum sum, we will add least four numbers in array. Similarly, in order to get maximum sum, in order to get maximum sum, we will add greatest four numbers in array. So in order to get greatest four numbers and uh, least four numbers, we will sort the array. We have a function which is nothing but collections dot sort. It will work for array list. I will tell you another method which is nothing but rs dot sort. Rs dot sort. This method will take an array name as parameter and it will sort the ARR array. So after this we can check it out whether it is got sorted or not. So I am printing the every element of array. ARR of I. And I am giving some space in order to visualize. So I am here, I am giving four numbers, random numbers 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you can see, that we got a sorted array with this function with array dot sort, which will be used for uh, sorting arrays. We have sorted the given array 
and we got this numbers so our out we need output of minimum sum and maximum sum would so we don't need to print these elements i have shown it to i have shown it i have printed that uh, array values in order to show you that this got sorted so what i will do is here uh, the loop is rolling from 0th index to 5th index so we need four least elements for minimum sum so what i will do is i will write a condition if i equal i greater than equal to 0 and i less than or equal to 3 then what i will do is then this condition will be true from 0th index to 3rd index that means we, we are getting elements from 0th index to 3rd index which are nothing but first which are nothing but least four elements in array so i have to add this in this so i will uh, as in the question uh, they uh, they have mentioned that our output can be greater than 32 bit integer that means the numbers in the array can be much bigger so that when we add these four elements we will get a sum which will be greater than 32 bit integer that means in 32 bit integer we we cannot store that sum so what i will do is i will take two long variables one is minimum sum at first i am keeping it as zero and next maximum sum is also zero i have took it long so i took it long because it uh, allocates 64 bits space in memory so what i will do is i will increase i will minimum sum equal to minimum sum is array of i what here i am doing is i am this condition will be true for true for indexes from i uh, 0 to 3 that means we that means for four elements so i am adding those four elements to this minimum sum at first minimum sum is 0 so 0 plus 0th index and uh, 0th index element value so, and uh, in second iteration it will be it will be minimum sum will get minimum sum will contain zeroth index zeroth index element value and then uh, array of i will be first index element so we we are essentially adding all the elements from zeroth index to fourth index with this line this is for minimum sum and for maximum sum we can write condition here itself I wrote this condition because this will be true when i will be when i is from 0 to 4 that means we are getting greatest four elements greatest four elements in array so we have to add them what i will do is i will use maximum sum variable that i have declared here maximum sum equal to maximum sum plus array of i so at last uh, the output format is given as minimum sum space maximum sum so i will print that system dot out dot print minimum sum some space and then maximum sum. So now you can see that here we have given input 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I am running the code. Sorry. 
Do I wrote any spelling mistake here? Oh, oh, in uh, 20th line, you have mentioned the semicolon for first. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I have made a mistake. I wrote a semicolon there, so it, uh, it is not recognizing this. So, as you can see, that this is minimum sum and this is maximum sum. Minimum sum is nothing but the sum of four minimum elements, which is nothing but one, two, three, four. One plus two is three, three plus three is six, six plus uh, four is ten. So we got minimum sum as ten and maximum sum as fourteen, which is nothing but the sum of this five plus four, which is nine, nine plus three, which is uh, twelve, and twelve plus two, which is fourteen. So we got maximum sum. So this works for uh, all arrays, uh, all values of array with size 5. So here they uh, give an input as 13579. So I will give the same input. 13579. We should get the answer as 16 space 24. 16 space 24. Here they are given another input also which is 125. Two, three, four, five. You have to get answer ten space fourteen. So you got ten space fourteen. So this is the solution for this uh, answer. Here they have given as uh, Here they are given as a list error, which means the data type here they have to give not an array, they took a, it as array list. We can do it in both ways. So do I need to tell with array list also? Yeah, no issues. Okay, right. In case of uh, array list, if you use, uh, then we can have another function which is nothing but collection dot sort in order to solve that array list. Uh, this here array list name. That's the only difference we will get. And uh, in order to get, in, in, instead of array of i, we have to write uh, array of get. Get here index itself. Same. This is the difference uh, which we will uh, get here by using array list and uh, here array array list declaration, declaration will also be somewhat a little bit different. You can write it as a list since we are storing integer in uh, array list we have to write integer and the array list name new and uh, array list and you can uh, here in this uh, less than and greater than symbols, we can uh, specify data type which is integer, or we we can leave it because uh, here we have declared it. So this works for the array list as well. Same thing, no need to change here. Only tenth line we have to change, and uh, instead of array of i, we have to write array of get of i. Here also array of get of i, and uh, maximum sum and minimum sum will be same. So this is for now and uh, in the next video we will come up with solution for another questions of one month preparation kit. So guys don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.